guys, welcome once again to Nusa Water Talks, a place where we share experiences as we grow, hoping you learn from us as we learn from you. Today I want to talk about something that had me confused for most of my teenage age, not until now that I have got clarification on it and I am here to share it with you. It is not called the vagina. It is called the vulva. It is not called the vagina. It is called the vulva. Now there is a misconception about the vagina and the vulva. And most times when people say vagina, they actually mean vulva. And when they say vulva, they actually mean the vagina. So this misconception is what we will be dealing with today. So by the end of this video, you will know the difference between the vagina and the vulva, what's inside, what's outside, and how to take care of the both. Stay tuned, go nowhere, and I'll be right back. When When young girls still ask this question of should I wash my vagina with soap or not or should I leave my vagina without washing it with soap I want to believe that it is because you do not know the difference between the vagina and the vulva that is why you're asking that question and that is why I'm making this video for you today what is the vulva the vulva consists of all the external genital structures including the labia majora the labia minora, the clitoris, the urethra opening, and the vagina opening. Should I resound it? The labia majora, the labia minora, the clitoris, urethra opening, and the vagina opening. So when you ask questions of should I wash my vagina or not, I believe you're trying to say, should I wash my labia majora, labia minora, or clitoris, urethra opening? Is that what you mean? Drop it in the comment section. So let's begin. If you notice, the place or the parts used for urination for the woman is different from the parts used for menstruation. If you have not noticed that about your body, I would kindly ask or beg you that with time, just take a mirror, sit down, observe your body, or better do studies on it. Now, what is the vagina? The vagina is an intramuscular canal that leads to the cervix and the uterus. I'll further explain this using an example. Now look at your ears. This is the ear. I'm just going to use it as an example. Your ear consists of this outer part, this external layer where you're seeing, and then there is a muscle that there is a canal that leads to the auditory nerves. Okay, so this external part of your ear can be likened to be the vulva right i'm using the ear as an example this external part can be likened to be the vulva now with the vulva now you have just like i mentioned we have the labia majora the labia minora the uterus the urethra opening and then the vagina opening so let's liken this canal that leads inside to your vagina you see that canal now in the case of the female part that vagina is leading you to the uterus and your service but then this one now is leading to the auditory now this is just an analogy this will help you understand it better i've scattered my fine hair <laughs> it's okay so having known this there are certain questions or there are some things that you observe about yourself as, as a woman that is normal if you have not observed it my dear you have to take a look at it and join the attention to it right now the path used for urination for a woman is different from the path that is used for menstruation so that is to say where urine is coming from in a woman's body is different from where you have your menstrual flow you see that canal that enables the menses come come out to the outer part where you now see it it's called the vagina now let's go to the frequently asked questions should I wash my vagina with soap and water? A moment of silence. <laughs> Having known this, just like I use the ear as an analogy, except you have um, a special case, do you usually put water inside your ear to wash it? No. Do you put soap inside your ear to wash it? 
No, the only part you wash external part, right? That is how the vagina is supposed to be taken care of. You are not supposed to use soap, water, dutching is not allowed. Is it douching or dutching? Pronounce it correctly on the comment section. It is not allowed on the vagina. Do not use anything on your vagina. I have explained what the vagina means. So I, 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 I expect that you now understand what the vagina means so you're not supposed to use anything on your vagina the vagina is self-cleansing that's why you have discharges coming out it's cleansing itself but where you need to pay attention to is your vulva the part that contains the external genital structures that is where you need to pay attention even at that you're not expected to use harsh soaps on your vulva if you observe you will notice that the skin around that area is very delicate you don't want to use anything hard on it if not it's going to disrupt when they say it's going to disrupt the ph level of your vagina it's because when you use soap they have tendencies of when you use those harsh soap they have tendencies of entering the vagina when you are washing your vulva so when you do that, you disrupt the pH because there is supposed to be a particular pH balance in the vagina to show that this person is healthy. But when you start putting different things in your vagina, you are disrupting the pH balance. That's why they always advise ladies to use mild soap, very mild, very mild soap. If you cannot, just use warm water on your, on your towel to wash. Now, the place you need to pay attention is your vulva especially when you are ovulating when you're having um, a larger amount of or more discharge coming out from your vagina you need to pay attention to this area and that is the clitoral hood right here to use warm towel or a towel that is soaked with water clean water lift up your clitoral hood and clean that place clean your clitoris even at that you're not allowed to use Medicated soaps there, you're not allowed to use heavily scented soap, beauty products there. No, it is not allowed. If possible and preferably, use warm water and towel to clean. And while you're cleaning, please pay attention to your clitoral hood. Make sure you're cleaning your labia majora, your labia minora. I hope you have learned something today. We cannot end this video without establishing the fact that not all vulva look the same. I must say this and I'm repeating it. And by now you should know what is inside and what is outside. If you got that today, please drop it on the comment section. Let's look at the functions of the vulva and the functions of the vagina. First of all, the vulva. The vulva is used for protection, is used for pleasure, is also used for uh, urination and then for opening to the reproductive organs and then the vagina the vagina is used to menstruation is used for menstruation rather and then it's also used for um sexual intercourse of course you know and then child birth that is where your baby comes out from if you're having the natural way of giving birth and not cesarean section having known all of this are you still confused about the vagina and the vulva if you have further questions to ask please drop it on the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i share useful information things that will help you grow you're not allowed to be stagnant on my channel if you're part of loser water talks you're part of a great move we keep learning every day and to make sure that our portfolio of learning our knowledge gap is reduced by the day <laughs> so don't forget i'm nuzo wate please if you've watched till this point it means that you like my video you enjoy it kindly share share this video to every young girl out there that is still trying to understand your body share this video to the women that see again should i wash my vagina or not share this video to every lady you have on your contact list they need to know the truth and since you've known it Please do not withhold this information. Thank you very much and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.